a very good morning everyone so today we are going to learn about an lms which is the edmodo it is quite similar to google classroom but there are certain additions to it that we will learn today so first let us see how to get started with it for that type or type on your browser edmodo and this is what you will have if you are using it for the first time you need to sign up otherwise you can simply log in here so click on this edmodo and our edmodo page would open as i have already logged in so this is my page in which i have created a class but otherwise you need to add a class now i'll show you how can you create a class here for that go to classes on this upper tab we have this classes click on this i already have a class for financial markets and institutions fmi so if you want to create a new class we have to click on this plus sign we need to click on create class and students would have to click on the join class tab so i will click on create class and here i have to name my class so i will say shikha's class okay we can describe online teaching learning process we can select a grade higher education we can select a subject okay so let us select vocational studies and we can click on create okay we need to select a subject so vocational studies and create and our new class would be created so here this box would open it will ask us to add students or to explore class so if we want to add students we can click here on add students so this will ask us to type the name and the emails but this is a lengthy process so we will go back to our class and the other option of making the students join our class is to use the class code as we used to do in the google classroom so for that click on this class code and this box would appear from here you can simply copy this particular code so we can click on share class code right and here this click on copy it has been copied and you can send it to your students via the whatsapp web or you can email it to the students you can also share a pdf or you can invite by mail but the most convenient option is to send this code to your students so we'll click on done and now let us see what we can do with our class that we have created we can also change the settings so click on these three dots that we can see here click on this and we can also add the class image if we want to add any class image we can just browse any picture and it is loading and here instead of the blank and name we will have this image as a class image so let us click on save it may take some time for the image to be uploaded so we are just waiting and let us see other properties go again go to the three dots and we can also change the class color so we can select any of this color uh, whatever color you like you can select that and you can save it similarly you can also invite people from here also you can see the image has uh, loaded here okay so you if you want to remove it you can do that also but i don't want to do that so you can invite people and you can also go to advanced settings in the advanced settings you can see this will be primarily used with teachers our group or the students default all new members to read only hide my post from parents moderate all post and replies and we can also add the description 
I will just save the setting because I don't want to make any changes in this particular class that I have created. Now let us first understand what are these four tabs that can be used for. So if we go to the home tab, it is just like our Facebook. So whatever we are posting here, it would be visible to the students. So in the home class, if I type anything here, suppose I type hello and welcome to the class. So it would be visible to the students whosoever joins my class. I can also click on these three dots and I can link this particular message to any post. I can edit the post. I can delete it. I can pin the post. I can add the post to library. This we'll uh, see after some time and we can also turn on the notifications. So if any student comments on over here, I would, I would get a notification for the same. Right. Now let us see uh, if we go to the classes, what will happen? Under the classes, we have three things. We have the class management. We have what's due and we have progress. So class management is again for the students as to uh, how many classes I have and who all are there in my class. In what's due, the assignment and quizzes, when I'll upload it, that would be visible. And in the progress, it is about the students as to how many students have submitted their assignments. So this all we'll do in the next video. Thank you so much.